All right. Yeah, this place doesn't seem like it's got great maintenance. So that's not a good sign. What I expected at all. It appears the flora they were using as decor has overgrown the entire Sarah, embassy. Someone was talking to us over the intercom and you cut them off. And I think what they were saying was probably more useful. First, I'm going to look at the computer. Oh, I've got to unlock the computer. Novice. Easy. Um... We go there, then can you fit here? All right, we'll start with that. And then hopefully these two work where I need them. Good. Uh, update friend foe setting. Recalibrate friend foe. Don't activate the turrets if they're currently off. Okay. Good value per mass. Grab that. Just got to do my looting before I throw the switch. So turrets should all be off, but if the turrets do come on, they should be updated to be friendly to me. I would think. can't steal the armor off those mannequins. I don't trust this strange blue liquid. I've never seen a tree like this before in my entire life. It'd actually be more fascinating if its branches weren't blocking our way. Am I getting drugged? Oh. You are an enemy. Okay. Find anything useful. Nope. Reload. Um, I'm almost tired of games where everyone is willing to throw everything and everyone else away to save their own skin. Yeah. This is advanced, not too hard. All right, you only work on this outer ring. There. You don't work anywhere. You are there. All right. There. You. Oh, oops. <laughs> That didn't work. Uh, yep. Let's try this again. Okay, so you only work on this ring, so I could go there. Do we have three one there? Yes. I'm good with that. 
Uh, I'm going to want two twos, I think. That one for there, and this one for there. Yeah. Robot control. Uh, update friend or foe. Calibrate friend foe. And says they're inactive, but we saw them running around. Permanently increased sneak bonus by an additional 1% and melee sneak attack damage by an additional 5%. Gladly. Oh, hey, buddy. But you're now friendly to me. Guide within serpent. Cool. Yeah, I'm getting super drugged, I'm sure. Oh, we've got an enemy still. A couple of enemies. Oh. I definitely changed the turrets to be friendly to me. I'm confident of that. Okay, it looks like that's the way I need to go. No? Thinks I'm supposed to go that way, so what's... I will probably have to come back this way then. Because there's a lot more going on. So let's first go in here. Wait. I thought I blew you up. Let's go in here first. My setting friend or foe is being overwritten because we did have all the robots on our side and now they're not, I guess. Alright. Use you and you. And then here we can go with this and then this. Current control, no signal. Well, took out all those turrets, apparently. So now it's wanting me to go upstairs. So let's try downstairs first. Let's see what we have around here. Inaccessible door. Okay, that'll be our back exit when we're done with this place, because that's how these games work. Is that a turret? Maybe? Alright, what's in here first? Can't even tell what's shooting me. Go away, you. Alright, I think that's where I'm gonna need to go, so let's check in here first. Yes. Lots of stuff on that robot. Uh, you're pretty valuable. Yeah. Now let's go in here. Nothing here. Is that a turret? It's not shooting me, so I'll leave it alone. briefly see a turret down here. 
No. Nope. Keep trying to reload while I'm on an enemy I've killed. And it's like, you want to load, uh, put stuff into the body? It's like, no. It's just you've overloaded a button in uncomfortable ways. Okay. Go here, and then I'd need a three point, probably one of those. You. Okay. And then here, if I did that, then I need another three pointed one, like you. Perfect. What do we have in here? This room actually is in decent shape. Common room security computer. Well, I'm getting lots of experience with picking locks. Okay. So I could do that and I'd need... Probably... One of these, hopefully? I don't think... Maybe you. Yeah. And then... We go with... Not you. Something like you. I need one more, which looks like either of these could work. Uh, update friend foe. Recalibrate friend flow, foe. And deactivate the turrets. Okay. Anything else of interest in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, this is where I was supposed to go. Oh, I do not like how that's flickering out there. And what else am I missing by going directly there? Turret. A room here. Oh, same room. All right. the demons in the basement. Okay. Oh, so this is that door that we couldn't open before. Not a back way out. It's the way to proceed. There. Bunch of your robots. Requires key. Alright. Hey, robots. Alright. Reminder, we can never truly know the Great Serpent's designs for us. You have my thanks, and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. Come, let us discuss. Your intercom system needs work, by the way. Chroma pack. Grab more ammunition. You never have enough ammunition. So have you been locked in here or something? What's your story? Not the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a 
grand tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the Venom Tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. But then again, who could cage such a beauty? <laughs> Tell me though, what is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning an attack. Then the embassy was struck with a power surge, and then... Silence. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly? Uh, spaceport's in rough shape, but not much else was damaged. Everywhere in the city is in better shape than this dump. Wow. Is that what happened here? Power surge? Did you say that thing pouring out clouds upstairs is called a venom tree? Is it poisonous? Harmless spores, you have my word, but uh, hard to navigate. Hence why I was guiding you through the intercoms to restore the environmental controls. <laughs> and release me. It is the sap of the tree that gives it its... Well, <laughs> perhaps not a topic for this exact moment. But I must know of the rest of the city. Does it still stand? Uh, is that what happened here, Power Surge? I take it you didn't have such an experience where you were then, hmm? Yes, the entire embassy was thrown into lockdown, trapping me in my quarters, disabling the Venom Tree's filters, and arming the defenses. A disconcerting experience, to say the least. Was the rest of the city spared? A power surge caused all of that? Locking you in your quarters, turning on all the weapons, and... Turning off the air filtration. Wow. That's a lot. Spaceport's in rough shape, but not much else was damaged. Is that right? Huh? I shall need to have these repairs seen to sooner rather than later. Now, it cannot solely be the Serpent's Grace that brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much is obvious. Who else could just waltz through my door, hmm? And the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Uh, ah, an archive code. Yes. So the UC requires information, then. On terror morphs, presumably, hmm? Do I see this all clearly? Yes. Correct. We're going to use the data in the archives to better understand and stop these attacks. We're going to ensure something like this never happens again, and we need your code to do it. Bingo! Hand over your code so I can get out of this place. Yeah, but yes, they need better engineers because nothing... A random fluctuation of power should not cause that much to go wrong. That feels like intentional sabotage to get that many things to go wrong at once. Not just a random power fluctuation. Correct. We're going to use the data to better understand and stop the attacks. The preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the Archives. Using its data to prevent more attacks, there is logic there. But if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. Okay. For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage. The knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. Oh, you must assure me this will be used to save lives, not endanger them. I mean, that's my plan. Again, I think I'm being played by someone, but we'll see. You don't need my assurances. Independent observers will verify it's used responsibly. That's an impossible request. I can't know exactly how this will all play out. You're just an old man in a basement. You don't get to tell me what to do, Ambassador. No, you don't say that. Knowledge can't be evil. Then what about the knowledge of, say, gunpowder? Uh, I'm not. It's dumb. Uh, you don't need my assurance. Independent observers will verify it's used responsibly. We'll do everything we can to make certain that happens. Well, then I shall not fear. Please, follow me. Gladly.
So I keep looking around to see if I can loot stuff. Ah. Let's hope it still works. I can loot stuff. This isn't stealing. Antique videotape. Let it be used for good. Thank you. I can't steal that cred stick though, apparently. But I stole the 5,000 credits you had in this chest, so all's well. Personal computer, you don't mind if I read your journal, right? Oh, you have a lot. Arrival. Yesterday marked the beginning of my tenure as House Baroon's ambassador in the United Colonies. I arrived full of hope, believing our gesture of opening this new embassy would demonstrate that we had moved beyond our bloody stained past. But we had barely been in New Atlantis an hour when the troubles ahead of me began to reveal themselves. A brief walk from the spaceport to the embassy was marked by suspicious glances and sneers from the numerous strangers on the street. I fear minds here will not be easily changed. The wrongdoings of House Baroon will not be so easily forgotten. It is my fervent wish that this embassy will come to be seen as an emblem of a peaceful future, free of the stains of prejudice and violence. I will do my utmost to act as an avatar for that goal, regardless of any resistance I may face. Though I find myself in a strange land, I know the Great Serpent will guide us to success in our endeavor. Log 2 protests. This morning I was roused from contemplative prayer by the sounds of muffled shouting. Upon investigation, I discovered a sizable group of United Colonies citizens engaged in a protest on my doorstep. They are opposed to their government's attempts to establish diplomatic ties with House Varun and are petitioning for the immediate shuttering of the embassy. My attempts to engage them in discussion were fruitless. Most would not speak with me, and those who did refused to believe that our intentions in New Atlantis were purely peaceful. The embassy guards were eventually required to intervene, forcing me back into the building, when the crowd's anger began to manifest as threats to my well-being. I intend to discuss this matter with my counterparts in the United Colonies. Their aid will be essential if this effort is, is to succeed, though I fear this will not be an isolated incident. Log 3, a visitor. Each day my frustration grows, Great Serpent. What have I done to merit such scorn? Recently, Sia Mavan arrived at my embassy to receive a visit of such a high-ranking pri priestess, a gravid no less, with the intention of engaging in talks with the United Colonies. I was overjoyed. Such a gesture from the house could only mean those skeptical of our efforts could at long last see merit in our work. But it seems I was deceived. Sia's stated mission and her actual intentions are clearly at odds. She has refused every opportunity to engage in representative, engage with representatives from the United Colonies. Instead, she speaks incessantly about the need to surveil the very diplomats who trust I have dedicated months of efforts to gaining. She remains trapped in our old mindset, unable to see what it is we are actually doing here, guaranteeing House Varun's future. The losses from the Serpent's Crusade were incalculable. Diplomacy is the only method through which House Varun's survival may be assured. I must find a way to make Sia see this. Luckily, I believe tonight's dinner will be the perfect opportunity. Our UC host, diplomat, Deputy Diplomat Roland, is level-headed, reasonable, I dare say even sympathetic, a rare animal among the UC, if prior experience is to be any indicator. If Sia approaches him with open arms, I have faith that he would embrace her as a comrade. Great Serpent, let this come to pass. Log 4, Dinner Great Serpent, is this a test of my faith? Do you truly wish to plumb the depths of... My loyalty? What other explanation could merit why you would permit such a spectacular disaster? Dinner at Deputy Rollins was initially promising, even congenial. Yes, there were pointed questions about House Varun's intentions, but overall an air of polite decorum was maintained. But it was when one of Rollins' mo more boisterous guests, an officer of some type, be perhaps having enjoyed one too many glasses of Chandra, asked, but how can we trust your snakes after what you did? That, I believed, the gravid reached her breaking point. They were only words, but words are the battlefield on which diplomacy is fought, and I realized too late that this was the salvo Sia would not let pass. As dessert was served, Sia excused herself. We waited for her return, and waited, and waited. When it had become clear that the gravid had simply left, I made my pleasantries and rushed back to the embassy. There I found her packing her things. When I asked where she was going, she simply stated simply, I have seen all I need to do. And she left without another word. I reached out to my contacts back in D Dazra, who have assured me that they still believe in the venture, that Jarek Varun himself still believes, and that is all the reassurance I require. 
Log 5, a test of faith. The last of my staff have left today. Our embassy now effectively shuttered. House of Ruins leaders have ceased all communications with the United Colonies. Our own orders from Dazra were not much better. Standing as a single word, return. No other reason mentioned for our abandonment of our post, for the abandonment of our cause. But I know a test of faith when I see one. I serve House of Arun. A simple understanding of that directive would be that I follow their orders. But what we do here is greater than that. If we are to survive, it cannot be on our own. If others refuse to see that, so be it. So here I stand, waiting for the day they all see the truth and come back. Log 6. Silence. There's been no word from my people in months. I have made several attempts at contacting them, but I am uncertain if my messages are reaching Dazra at all. As such, I have had much time to think. Why allow us to come here, make a home for ourselves around a distant star, only to demand our return when the first bit of resistance is met? Because of some drunken slight? Even Sia is not that influential amongst the court. No, there is something larger at play here. The recalling of the staff, it wasn't because of the incident incident with the gravid a change has occurred yet by staying i now may never know what it is only time will tell log seven spies it seems it's been quite some time since my last entry a welcome bit of exercise today a united colony spy snuck into the embassy just before dawn as i finished my morning prayers i heard an odd thrum at first i presumed my hearing was finally giving out but then i realized what it was it was the elevator descending presuming uninvited guests could only mean could mean only bad things, I snuck, up, snuck upstairs and hid amongst the branches of the venom tree. I watched like a gargoyle perched on a parapet as the young man stalked cautiously through the branches of the tree I'd spent so much time cultivating, obviously scared beyond his wits. At one point, an errant branch snapped as he passed, and I swear the boy leapt a foot in the air before realizing its source benign. I was shocked that the mere idea of House Varun could still garner such fear, even this long after the end of the Serpent's Crusade. It would have been amusing if it wasn't such a clear reminder of the failure of my own endeavor. We evaded each other like this for the better part of two hours. It was a welcome distraction from a life now steeped in routine. He eventually gave up, returned to the elevator, and I to my meditation. As I think on it now, however, the purpose of the visit is exceedingly disappointing. This was no diplomat, no neighborly knock on the door. This was a spy, someone breaking into somewhere a normal soul wouldn't. A normal soul couldn't. They think me dead, don't they? Log 8. A surprising message. It's happened. The message was short, a simple request for information regarding the state of things in New Atlantis, but filled me with relief nonetheless. House Varun has contacted me at long last. I've been forced to harden my heart to the possibility that I may never hear from my people again. Today's message assuaged that fear. Though their intentions remain unclear, I am comforted by House Varun's willingness to re-engage in communication. I'm hopeful that it signifies Dazra's willingness to return to more earnest attempts at diplomacy with the United Colonies. Great Serpent, you answer my prayers at last. I stand firm in my beliefs that it will be at my side as I continue to serve House Varun's interests in New Atlantis. May his celestial light bathe my people and those who once we once stood against and help to usher an era of harmony at last. That was a lot of reading. Uh ton of reading but okay we now have the information we need so it's just time to get out of here or not Is that not the way out or do i need to talk to you or something first i will not have house Varun be known only for slaughter the great serpent that's your god right the great serpent is so much more than a god it is fate itself when our founder, Jinan Varun, left the United Colonies 140 years ago for distant stars, it was the serpent that compelled him to found his now great house. The serpent made us who we are today. Its voice speaks to us, shepherding us through the dark and infuses our lives with the meaning the universe so often fails to provide. Uh, so why'd the rest of the embassy staff leave? Where'd they go? Why'd you stay behind? What's it been like being from House Varun in New Atlantis? It was tolerable, even pleasant, when my brethren were here in the embassy with me. We remade this place as best we could into a home we all would recognize. Our native flora, our iconography, our connection to the serpent, they came with us. With my brethren gone, it has been trying. 
But the Great Serpent has always provided me a path in my darkest moments. Why'd you stay behind? House Varun committed itself to the Armistice. This was said at the time to be the desire of the Great Serpent, and I do not believe the Serpent decides such things on a whim. So, when my brethren left, I remained, honoring the Serpent's will as I saw fit, as is the right of all his followers. Why the rest of the staff leave? The affairs of House Varun are our own. They left. That is all there is to be said on the subject. Okay. I have to talk with Sarah Morgan again. Sure. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. Thanks for taking time to chat. I... I really need a friendly ear right about now. I received a message from Constellation, and it's given me a lot to think about. If it's an emergency of some kind, we can head there right away. Hope it isn't bad news. Don't tell me Barrett has sent you another one of his dirty jokes. Barrett is dead. <laughs> Barrett died. What kind of a statement would that be? Uh, if it's an emergency of some kind, we can head there right away. No, no, it's nothing like that. It's just a list of requests. Things I would normally handle if I was there. <sighs> but I'm not. I'm out here instead with you. I feel like you're ignoring your responsibilities. It's not so much the message itself, it's what it represents. Are you upset that I'm keeping away from the lodge? Receiving these messages often. No, it's the first time. But the fact that they're reaching out, well, it's given me a lot to think about. Are you upset that I'm keeping away from the lodge? You're not keeping me out here. I am. Just... Here, let me explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps, until the UC decided to axe the department. Government cuts take their toll on everyone. Must have been painful, considering that was your department. Eight years isn't a bad run for anything government-related. What exactly was the Navigator Corps? Or was this have to do with the message from the Lodge? We'll start with what was the Navigator Corps. It was a branch of the United Colonies Navy. A small fleet of ships outfitted for galactic exploration. Basically, a military version of Constellation. What does that have to do with the message from the Lodge? If you want to help... I feel like I need to give you some background. Just bear with me. Okay. Uh, well, eight years isn't a bad run for anything government related. Had we notched some significant achievements, I'd agree with you. You see, the top brass demanded pressworthy discoveries to justify the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge. So the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. It's ridiculous to accept all of the blame. You were clearly fighting some possible odds. Which war are you talking about? Obviously. Uh, it's just ridiculous to accept all of the blame. Oh, like hell I can't. You once told me that you favored the journey over the destination. So I'm hoping you'll understand what I'm trying to say. I failed because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. If I had fought harder, I'm convinced our division may have had a chance to prove its value. Nonsense, no one would have pushed harder than you. No matter how hard you fight, there are some battles you can't win. It's obvious the military wasn't your calling. Your division never had a single significant discovery. That depends on your definition of significant discover a rare neutron star and no one cares but slap a picture of a kooky alien life form on SSNN and suddenly you're a goddamn rock star it's all about the propaganda what gets the people excited <sighs> that's what the United Colonies was focused on at the time okay uh... no one would have pushed harder than you that's just it though did I push too hard? Did they shut us down because I wasn't quietly sitting at my desk approving meaningless memos? We'll never know. 
Police Constellation has been a great success. Calm down, Sarah, or so this message you're taking as a sign of things to come? Yeah. You're taking it as a sign of things to come? Yes. Maybe. Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> it's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority. But all I want to do is explore, not sit and make sure the accounts are balanced. You're afraid that your absence will cause Constellation to collapse. Maybe you should resign your position as chair and just explore. We should put this aside for now and concentrate on our mission. You're afraid that your absence will cause Constellation to collapse. I'm not going to tell her to resign. Yes, exactly. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Mateo. Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. God damn it. Again, Barrett is dead. He's not itching to replace you. Don't worry, Sarah. We'll figure this out together. I'm sorry I pushed so hard. Hey, you're the one who wanted to talk. We'll figure this out together. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, here you are trying to help me and I'm yelling at you. You have to understand. Once Aja retired, I lost the only person that gave a damn. Uh, I guess I'm nobody. Ouch. Maybe I'm right to my face too. So the question would be, because we keep getting these flirt options, is there someone that I want to try and flirt, romance with, whatever? Um, I think there's only two women, at least I'm thinking of, in Constellation. I don't know if you can romance non-Constellation people. At least none that I've seen so far. So, Sarah or Alejandra? I guess flirting isn't saying I'm choosing her guaranteed over everyone else. But I'll start the option. I'll always be here for you, Sarah. Uh, look, it's clear that you have feelings for me. It's just, I've never had time for this sort of thing in my life. Please, it's not you, it's me. I'm just not ready to get that close. I can't, not now. But thank you for being there and listening. It helped. It really did. Okay. There's another awkward conversation down with her. Can I go through this door now? Only... There was a thing that popped up briefly. Because I would assume that would be the quick way out. But it looks like it's going to make me go all the way back out the normal way. Which is fine. Uh, not there. Here. No, this is how I came in here. Oh, I'm overloaded, apparently. Yes, I am, by a lot. Sarah, mm -hmm. let's trade gear. I'd be happy to carry a few things for you. Um, my inventory. Go to resources, because that's what weighs the most, and I can grab them off of her when we get back to the ship. And then I can put them all on the ship. Okay. Now I've got plenty of space again. How do I get out of here? Is there a local map? No, of course not. <laughs> Where am I going? Yes, around here, I think. Out of my way. Oh, probably a terminal for turning on or off turrets or whatever. Okay, 
think we're back to the beginning, basically. I still think that other ways should have been a faster route out. But what do I know? All right. We've got both pass keys now. So we should be able to open up the door for the archive. 